Yeah, Jesse, any minute now we're waiting for an update from Huntington Police Chief Hank Dial about what exactly happened here tonight. But right behind me here at the corner of 22nd Street and 8th Avenue in Huntington, you can see this white car here that was involved in one way or another with that officer getting hit. We have no condition on him at the time, but you can see uh, in the background there Huntington Police, EMS and firefighters and Huntington Police all over the place on this block. They've got an entire block this direction locked down with some officers. Uh, with flashlights trying to figure out what exactly happened here earlier today. Um, and then they've also got a good portion of 8th Avenue closed down in both directions. So if you're in the area, try and avoid this entire block region around it because you can't get through one way or another. Um, on the other side, we've got a, a crowd of people near the Family Dollar here uh, that are uh, hoping that this police officer is okay and also hoping for a speedy investigation to figure out what exactly happened. Again, we are going to have an update from Huntington Police Chief Hank Dial here in just the next few minutes. We will bring you some information as soon as we have it. But for right now, reporting live in Huntington, Sean Delancey, Eyewitness News. Just in the last couple of minutes here, Huntington Police Chief Hank Dial came over and gave us a briefing. The important thing to remember here is that this is still very early in the investigation, so they don't have a lot of the facts together. But what they do know is that around 9 o'clock, a couple of officers got the call of a potential overdose here on uh, the 2200 block of 8th Avenue. When they got here, they quickly discovered that it was not exactly an overdose. It was more like criminal activity and then in a resulting scuffle this car right back here the white car was involved in hitting a Huntington police officer they say he was dragged by that car all the way across this lot over here and at some point during uh, that dragging the one of the other Huntington police officers or that officer one of the Huntington police officers here on scene ended up firing their weapon to try and protect that officer they ended up hitting somebody both people have been taken to the hospital so that's one Huntington police officer officer dragged by a car, another person shot here on scene, both taken to the hospital. Now, the Huntington police officer, Hank Dial says, uh, was taken to the hospital. He's talked to him. The officer is talking. He is expected to be okay, uh, and they have not uh, gotten in contact with the other person that was shot. We don't know if that was the suspect. We don't know how they were involved at this point, but again, we're still very early in the investigation. Uh, one final thing that I will say here before I toss back to you is that this entire area has been blocked off, all this area between 8th Avenue. 22nd Street, the Family Dollar, uh, a lot of Huntington police officers in this area. So avoid it if at all possible. And once we get some more information later on tonight, we're going to bring you another update here at 11 o'clock. But for right now, reporting live in Huntington, Sean Delancey, Eyewitness News. Yeah, Jesse, the latest from here on scene is that the Huntington Police Forensic Unit is now on scene conducting a more in-depth investigation. It's still very early on, but what we do know is that around 9 o'clock, Huntington Police responded to a call here that was supposed to be an overdose. Turned out to be something much more serious. Hank Dial, or uh, Chief Hank Dial, says that it turned out to be some type of criminal activity that led to a Huntington Police officer getting hit by this SUV and then dragged across a parking lot. During that dragging, police then fired on that vehicle. One person was shot. The police officer was taken to the hospital with what is expected to be non-life-threatening injuries. He's expected to be okay. The other person that was shot uh, was also taken to the hospital. We have no condition on him at this point, but again, still very early in the investigation. Join us at 11 o'clock over on Eyewitness News after the NBA Finals to get another update here. But for right now, reporting live in Huntington, Sean Delancey, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Delancey is at that scene. Sean, what can you tell us? Yeah, Jesse, still very early on in the investigation here, even at this late hour tonight. But right now we do know that one Huntington police officer was hit and then dragged by this SUV back here. And then another person was shot on scene here tonight. Huntington Police Chief Hank Dial said that they originally got a call to what was supposed to be an overdose, but it turned out to be some kind of criminal activity. During a resulting scuffle, an officer was hit by the car and then dragged across a vacant lot at the corner of 8th Avenue and 22nd Street. Dial says police then fired on the the car to protect the officer and someone was hit. No word yet on who that is right now. And then both people were taken to the hospital. Our officer was injured um, and uh, so was the suspect. Uh, both parties have been taken to the hospital. Um, our officer, I've spoke to him. Um, he's able to talk and uh, it's non-life threatening injuries. Um, I do not have an update on the condition of the arrestee.
That is still very early in the investigation here, and police will likely be here through the night. While they are here, they've got 8th Avenue shut down right at the corner of 22nd Street, and a good portion of 22nd Street shut down as well. So try and avoid this area altogether. A small crowd joined here earlier, a small crowd gathered here earlier. They were hoping that everybody involved in this situation is okay. We will bring you another update on what, what all is going on here coming up here in about a half an hour. But for right now, reporting live in Huntington, Sean Delancey, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Delancey has been gathering details all evening, evening long. He joins us live from the scene right now. Sean. Yeah, Jesse Huntington Police still investigating here tonight. The forensics unit is on scene conducting a really in-depth investigation, trying to search every single nook and cranny of what ended up being about a half block long crime scene here at the corner of 8th Avenue and 22nd Street. It is so large because a Huntington police officer was hit by a car and dragged all the way across this vacant lot here, ending with this white SUV right at the corner of, uh, of the streets. Huntington Police, uh, right after that officer, got hit and dragged, then returned fire on the vehicle, hitting someone inside of the car. Uh, both people were taken to the hospital. The officer we're hearing from Huntington Police Chief Hank Dial is uh, expected to live. His uh, injuries are not life-threatening. He's up. He is talking, talking with uh, the police chief, actually. And we do not have a status on the person that was shot here or their relation to the entire scene, whether they're a suspect, whether they are uh, a victim, whether they were somebody that just got hit by strong, straight gunfire. We do not know at this point. Those are answers that we're going to have to get tomorrow morning, but in the meantime, this investigation is likely going to take all night here, and during that time, uh, 8th Avenue is going to be shut down for about a block here in this area, and 22nd Street also shut down here as well. So just try and avoid the area altogether, um, and we're also going to try and figure out exactly what's going on uh, with that individual tomorrow, uh, starting in our shows 5, 6, and 7 o'clock right here on Eyewitness News. But for right now, reporting live in Huntington, Sean Delancey, Eyewitness News.